quick, smash that like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds if you guys want to learn exactly how you guys can complete the Storm King every single time and unlock the brand new Storm Sail Glider. Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can defeat the Storm King in the brand new Fortnite Mez update. So this isn't that difficult at all. All you've got to do is simply get into a game to start with and get going. That's the simple tip. But it is a little bit difficult. I played it three times and lost twice, and that was only because I went on Phil. It's definitely easier if you play it with people you know or you're talking to people in game. However, if you can't do that, here are some tips and tricks that you guys can take in and hopefully help you guys defeat the actual Storm King. So the first thing I did is I actually look for llamas. Now in this game, you're watching the game that I actually defeated the Storm King on. I didn't actually find a llama, but in the past, I have actually found two llamas on my first two games where I actually got a bunch of mats, which were pretty handy if you're going to be reviving a bunch of people. So the Storm King himself has a few different moves and a few different techniques to eliminate players. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the Storm King does and his moves and tips and tricks to a beat that sort of stuff now there are three stages to the storm king you've got the first stage where you've got to destroy one of his horns then the second stage where you destroy his other horn and then once you've destroyed his horn then you jump into the final stage and that's where you can shoot the storm king anywhere and you'll be able to actually gain a bunch of kind of points off doing it that way so this game is also great for getting xp as well but i've just sped it up a little bit to start with so you can see where we are at but this is the first stage, a very, very easy stage, and you can pass this one quite easily. All you gotta do is just eliminate husks and deal damage to the Storm King when he's on his weak points. You'll see it pop up at the top when his weak points are popping up. And once they've popped up, you can go and do a bunch of damage to him. Obviously, you don't have to do that. You can uh, just carry on destroying husks if you want to, but it depends on how quickly you want to destroy the Storm King. In the first round, it's pretty easy. So usually I like to farm up mats, farm up a bunch of ammo, and maybe even get a few lucky drops off the actual husk themselves. So you will actually gain access to a bunch of loot as well from destroying the spawners that the husks are on. So the sort of loot you'd gain access to, mainly meds. That's really what you gain from this, a bunch of medic stuff which is gonna help you out. Obviously you've got your different slurp juices, you've got your throwable chugs as I like to call them, chug splashes, and you've also got a bunch of med kits as well and bandages and even the bandage launchers. You can get a bunch of stuff which actually spawns from these. So in the first few rounds, I'd actually aim for these to maybe build up a bunch of chug splashes because they're gonna come in handy later on, especially when he starts lasering you. Now, one thing to note as well, if you're in a group of people, the actual monster himself, the Storm King, will target the group with this laser. Now the laser does, I don't know the exact damage, but it does about 180-ish, 190. Basically, if you're on less than 150, you're going to get down from this. Also, once you've been down, you will be fully out of the game if you do not get revived. So do make it your priority to try and revive as many people as possible. However, in the final round, in the third round, it can be very difficult to revive people. So do consider that as well, guys. Be careful because in that third round, you will find it difficult to start reviving people. So maybe make sure you've got your chug splashes, got a bunch of mats so you can build and get the revives. It's only because you get so many husks that start spawning in all over the map. So do be careful, guys, on that final stage. But obviously, we're not there yet. I'm just showing you guys the first stage. I'm still farming up a bunch of materials and mats. So you've just got to keep continuing to do that. You can see his health is starting to get a little bit lower. Obviously, as I continue to do this, his health will eventually get lower and lower. And then eventually, we'll be able to get the elimination on him at the end. So you can't actually shoot him just yet. I'm just farming up more mats more weapons more equipment and there comes the laser here comes the laser right now guys and that is the laser if that laser hits you you are basically going to be put into the revive position which you don't want because then you're not going to be able to get revived straight away obviously you can see two people have been down here i'm going to try and get them you can see when you're reviving them if more people come and start reviving them he'll shoot his laser here again and this is exactly what happens in this situation I actually, I'm not too sure if I get down. I think I don't. I think I've just got enough health just to survive the attack when the laser hits. But you can see here, I'm trying to revive these people. Incoming laser. Someone's built in front of me. I couldn't see when he was doing the laser. And I'm put on like 4 HP, which means I think he does about 180 damage from that. So that's just insane, which is just crazy. So you've really got to be careful. Make sure you don't, like honestly, I don't think you should build when you're reviving. Just defend with your weapon, unless it's on the last few stage, on the last stage. Just 
just defend with your weapon and you should be good. Another cool tip as well is using these turrets. Unfortunately, the chances of the Storm King turning that way with his horn, I was unable to actually shoot his horn where I was, so I wasn't doing any damage to it. So I just got really annoyed and just bailed from it. But if you can get one of them turrets set up, you can actually deal a good amount of damage to the Storm King if need be. You know, it's up to you guys if you want to use them turrets or not. I have personally used the turrets a few times, but this time I've not really used it that much other than at the end. But if you want to use the turrets, it can be a really awesome tip to do that. If you guys can, you can see me here just trying to get my chat mixer sorted again. I was really having issues with the in-game audio, unable to hear people, but I did manage to fix it in this game eventually. I had to actually change my headset. So I've decided I'm going to speed it up until we actually destroy the first horn. So there are three weak points that you need to destroy. Once you've destroyed all of the three weak points on the actual Storm King himself, then you'll gain access to actually destroy his horn. You'll have to keep repeating these processes until you actually destroy the horn. Obviously, if you don't destroy the horn in the first opportunity to attack it, there'll be a few more points to shoot at and time to wait until you can actually get to the horn again. And you just keep repeating this until you are able to destroy the horn. Right here, I'm just running around farming husks, continuing the same stage over and over. He does throw a few rocks now and then. He also does an ability which wipes everything off the map. So it wipes all building structures and all of the loot on the ground. It's kind of like a purple orb that flies around the entire circle. Kind of like a big whirlwind type thing. You'll see it happening in a second. He usually does it after he's actually taken a bit of damage and then he'll clear the entire map and we lose all of the loot, all of the healables, which can be very frustrating when he does that, especially if you drop something to pick something up and you can't pick it up again because he's destroyed it. It does happen. So keep an eye out for it. You can see him then lasering at me. He's absolutely doing two tons of damage to me. So I just got to keep moving. But I managed to keep me at 100, 100 by farming the husks here, which is really good. And then you'll get that Storm King medal once you've destroyed one of his hearts. Now you've got to do this two more times to get that medal to the final gold if you want it. And obviously if you want the umbrella, you're going to have to complete the actual elimination of the Storm King. But you've got to defeat him. So here we go, on to the next stage. So the first thing he does on stage two is start dropping these rocks down from the sky. I think this is absolutely hilarious. He loves dropping these rocks down from the sky. These rocks do absolutely tons of damage as well when they start hitting you. And they can be very effective to eliminate a lot of you at once. So do be careful on them. They can really hurt and damage you a lot. So watch out for them rocks. They start coming throughout the entire of stage two. It's not until stage three when he starts dropping huge, huge rocks. That doesn't happen until the final stage, really. So you can continue doing this. Here he goes again. He's firing his laser in. I just get out in time. I take so much damage. I don't manage to dodge it. And again, take them like half my team got down right there. So I've got to go and try and save them, make sure they're all right, or at least got eliminated almost with their health being pretty low so be careful as well because like i said if you're all grouped trying to revive one person you will notice he'll shoot there with his laser again i did keep calling out in this game for people to watch out but they just didn't watch out at all i just couldn't get it to work but here is here come his meteors again so watch out for them they sometimes do drop a few maps though so if you can kind of locate where they land you may actually be able to pick up a few materials which again can come in handy maybe on the later stages i personally don't think you need materials Unless you're reviving, maybe, but I think it just blocks the ability to see him actually laser on you, and it doesn't protect you from his laser. So if you actually see him use that kind of big laser and you are able to move, it's good. But if someone's built it in front of you, you might not be able to see. I guess building comes in. So there it is. There's the huge whirlwind where it wipes open off the map. As you can see, whole map's cleared again. No floor loop, no building. It's only really good to build if you actually want to set up a turret, which can be useful as well, because obviously the turrets can do a bunch of damage on the later stages. You can also use these flingers as well. These are really handy for in that situation right there when he was about to laser. I jumped on the purple flinger and boom, I was away from the Storm King and I was able to escape nice and easily. Again, you send it in more meters from the sky so watch out for them you can kind of get a rough idea where they're coming from because you can see the portals above you but they do do a lot of damage if they do hit chances of hitting is about i'd probably say 15 percent 10 percent of getting hit by one of them but it does happen every now and then it's happened to me a few times you can see me there trying to focus another turret because i might need one bunch of husks as well you can farm them to get your shield up very effective move right now we're just trying to get him down that second horn so we can get onto the third stage where it's probably the easiest stage if you have more than six people alive if you're on less than six you are going to struggle to actually complete this stage because obviously on that final stage you've got to deal damage to the storm king himself anywhere and if you're just eliminating husks with six of you you're going to struggle so you can see we've got a few more weak points to eliminate here we've got his arm there that one's getting absolutely wrecked 
and a few others, but it shouldn't take long to get onto that final stage because there's a bunch of us left in the game. We can see we've got roughly 14 of us, so hopefully we should have the chance to actually complete this game and actually get the W, which could potentially happen in this game. You know, well, it's, you know, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> okay, so you can continue me going through here. You can see me just dodging some of the husk shots to firing at me, to getting them to farm, really. I'm not really getting much off them. I should really be aiming for the weak points right now, which I am. So I'm aiming for them, trying to shoot his arm, get his weak point down so we can get to the final horn and then get onto the final stage. So you can see me here spraying down the master. He's absolutely wrecking us with his storm powers, but he's won horn down i guess so we're getting there we're getting there took a bunch of damage on him right there he spins around does another cool move again on that side of there fires his laser over there you can see where he's left his laser so do watch out for them obviously you can see him here now he's building up another laser a group of people i'm, I'm calling them out saying you're gonna get eliminated you're gonna get eliminated and boom they didn't actually get down but they would be extremely low you can see straight away i started using my bandage launcher to heal my teammates which came in really handy in this situation. Firing more bandage launcher, heal my teammates, really nicely done. Keep rotating around, someone's setting up a turret, very effective method, but definitely I wouldn't hang with the turret person, let them do it on their own, maybe just keep one person with them, because he does destroy them, and he used the whirlwind technique there to destroy it, because that just destroys everything on the map, all mats, and all stuff that's down on the floor as well, so quite a difficult one, quite a difficult one. You see my team again having some difficulties over here. Lasers coming in, absolutely wrecking people. It does destroy that laser. I'm on a little bit low shield here, so I's trying to build up my shield farm in the husks. Final weak points getting destroyed, and there we're onto the storm now. We destroyed the weak points again. We're onto the storm horn again. So you can see the storm horn is almost destroyed. I'm just grabbing a bunch of ammo, and I see the storm horn, and that's it. I start shooting at it with my burst. I wouldn't recommend using the burst just because I thought I'd try it. I'd recommend picking up a scar or an automatic AR, but it can be useful. So there we have the silver medal. Now we're onto the final stage and it's just eliminating the Storm King now. You can see his health right there and it's already getting absolutely wrecked by a bunch of people. However, in this stage, if you've got like less than 10 people left, you've got so much going on. There are so many husks and stuff. You can see me building up here, trying to get an advantage of the height and stuff. Someone's setting up a turret right here, blocking that up so the zombies can't come out. I get my turret set up as well. I get in it. And unfortunately, he just does the whirlwind in time to stop me from using my turret. But I'm still spraying him down. We've kind of damaged, I guess, a quarter of his health. So he's almost eliminated or maybe a fifth. He's firing them big rocks. See how much damage that big rock does? There basically are huge meteors that fall in this one. You've got the small meteors, you've got the huge meteor, and the laser. So the addition on this one is the huge meteor on the third round, whereas on the second and first round, that doesn't happen. So you've got the first round with no meteors, the second round with smaller meteors, and the third round with the giant meteor which he summons in, which does so much damage to you. Also, the small meteors basically spawn every five seconds in this, so watch out for them. You can kind of get a rough idea where they're falling in, but keep an eye out for them because they do do a bunch of damage. Right now, you can see me here setting up my turret. Watch how much damage this does to this guy. It absolutely starts to trash him. 40 damage per shot. You really can do so much damage to him. But do watch out for his laser. If he decides to aim his laser at you when you're in your turret, bail your turret and run because it will do a bunch of damage to you. You can see even here, I'm trying to get out of here because I thought he was going to turn and do the laser to me. Again, I'm using my bandage launch to heal on my team. And we get the victory royale right there on the Storm King himself. So there's a guide for you guys on how to complete the Storm King every single time. Complete this, do this, get her out. About, we've got roughly 12 players left in this end situation and you will get the Nightmare Royale and unlock the brand new umbrella, which is really, really awesome and probably the best umbrella in Fortnite for a very long time. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video though. Don't forget to smash that like, smash that subscribe. If you want to stick around for daily Fortnite Battle Royale content, you can. All you got to do, smash that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest map change, storyline, and other little tips and tricks on Fortnite Battle Royale. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.